Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Working Geek. I'm sitting down with Andreas Price from Zoch, and you've brought us Pech Vogel. Pech Vogel, indeed, yes. Bad luck, birds. Bad, yeah, I was just going to say, I was hoping you'd give us a translation in English yeah. because I actually really like <laughs> Vogel, Vogel, bird, Pech being the concept of, of misfortune. So, somebody who's constantly unfortunate. This little guy, he just lost his girlfriend and his, his mobile phone phones out of minutes and <laughs> he's lost all his money and everything is horrible. Which is basically what is going on in this game. It's a, it's a dice tracker by Peter Jürgensen, uh, illustrated by Dos Mateos. For two to five players, plays in roughly 30 minutes, ages eight and up. Uh, and anything that can go wrong, will go wrong. <laughs> Uh, like I said, it's a dice game, uh, set collection to a certain degree. Uh, the dice go from three pips to seven pips and have Murphy, that's the name of the, the, the raven, have Murphy on one side. Whenever it's your turn, you're gonna roll and you got a result. There are two possible kinds of results. A little bit of a look. Cheating just a little bit. Three Murphys. That's bad. <laughs> Then you get one of these, and these are little marble stone tokens, which are going to get pitch black if you play with them for just a bit. Uh, and these are actually our stones. They are stone, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and they uh -huh. come with the game. Uh, minus three points, you don't want them. If you have this token, and I'll explain that in a sec, but if you have this, it's even minus seven per frustration, as they are called. So <laughs> this right here would be minus 14 points. Ouch. Right. So don't want them during the at, at the end of the game. During the game, you can do one or two things with them, and I'll get into that in a moment. But avoid those. That's one possible result. The other possible result is a lot nicer, and that's four of a kind, any number, which gives us the victory point chip. Seven points is what this one is worth, and so on and so forth. Uh, get these. Avoid those. But. Whenever you roll, you have to put out all ravens, so you are going to collect them. And um, also, eventually, players are going to have frustrations. So, let's say I'm ro rolling a raven, then I roll again, and I get my force three. I would be done now, I would get my three victory points, right. which, by the way, I could steal from any player that already has one, <laughs> independent of whether or not well, there is some in the <laughs> supply, exactly. It's, it's, a, it's a mean game, you have to go into this and know that. Um, so, let's say this is my role and that's the situation on the plate. Somebody else might spend one of their frustrations say, I'm going to frustrate you. Boom. Anybody else who also has a frustration can join in on top of that. So, maybe these two players are going to do that too forcing me to re-roll. This can only happen once <laughs> per my turn, okay. but that would be a normal situation when it happens. And as I said, oh no, oh. everything that can go wrong will go wrong. In this case, for the other players, I managed to get my four threes anyway. I get my victory points. They get those back. <laughs> and of course, either from me or if I don't have any, the, the bank is going to have out another one of those oh, frustrations on top. Karma. Right? <laughs> if on the other hand I had not been able to pull off the pull off the, the four of a kind, but three ravens, I would have had to take all those. take all the frustrations from the board. So quick way to lose a lot of points. I can also use them when it's my turn, once per turn, again, to make myself re-roll. So <laughs> there's a do-over mechanism built in as well. That's also how you get rid of them, besides frustrating the other players. You play until all of those are gone, which, by the way, you will flip one of which over whenever you steal one of the victory point tokens. So it will end eventually. Oh, Murphy, of course. This little fellow over here. Him you get whenever you're greedy. So whenever you do more than is necessary to get a result, which would be more than three ravens, you mess up, you get a frustration and you get him on top. Or if you have more than four of a kind, for example five, that's also greedy. This counts. You get your four points, but you get him on top. And if you don't have any frustrations at the end of the game, that's fine. fine. Yeah. He, by himself, no problem. But in combination with frustrations, uh, it's a frustration nation really quickly. Mm. It, in this game, quite often you win if you have a positive scoreline. You can win with zero points. If you stayed out of the game as well as possible, good on you, you might just win. Strangely enough, for, for so much uh, anguish and bad luck, it sounds like a lot of fun. Yes, it is. 
And? And I brought you a misfortune cookie on top of it, which doesn't come with the game. Sorry about Sorry, that. Sorry, everyone. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the cookie like doesn't give you food poisoning or something. That would be very misfortunate, I'm just saying. Um, Disclaimer. So, it doesn't <laughs> take any responsibility <laughs> food for food poisoning resulting from the misfortune bodies. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you guys want to check that out, it's <laughs> Pestful Hole, which is being published by Zach and Andreas. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. <laughs>